payments, Count is recognized for both its customer impact and technology excellence. Learn more at Count.com.
Yes, some people like me are just destined to fuck up everything that we mess with. If I was made as a joke, I don't get it. Missed the call, but I guess I got the message. Usually I fall too hard, I'm addicted to pain. And if the world's on fire, I'll be swimming in flames, yeah. Cause I'm too impatient to wait for change. I know I'm far from perfect Oh, yeah But I know I can make it work I know I can make it work I'm crazy, everybody knows my name But I don't even know my name Going insane, playing heavy on my brain I don't even know my name It's a story about an ID crisis Used to think my only future was the night shift Brain on ADHD, autopilot And through it all somehow I kept smiling I can never find the right words to say Only a handful of family ever sees my face But I'm only human, don't we all make mistakes I'm drowning in my head again And my thoughts don't want me to wait They show compassion made of plastic And I don't want to be another tragedy But I'd rather be dead than a skeleton Dreaming about the things that he couldn't be Cause I'm too impatient to wait for dreams
Collegiate Rocket League season, and boy, do we have an intense start for you here tonight. Two of the big Rocket League Titans, Boise State and Uni Boise State University, and Columbia going against each other. Columbia, number one in the Mountain West, and Boise State obviously not too shabby either. Starting the night off with some Titans. I'm your host, Colby D'Angelo Alloway, and joining me tonight is Colin Risky McJunkin. So. When you start out week one, uh -huh. Titan versus Titan. Oh, yeah. What do you think that sets up for the rest of the season? Mountain versus mountain wise, sort of just this idea that this is, if I know this is the best going into it or going to be one of the best into it, I am, I am analyzing everything here. And I'm going, all right, whether we played that bad, whether we played that good, it is, that is what I should expect from this point on. And that is a standard we should be playing to from that point on. So, Collegiate Rocket League, just a reminder, 3v3, soccer, best of three, single elimination, 16-team six six team round robin. So, here tonight, Doc's keys to the game, just to kind of help us out a little bit against Columbia in Rocket League, is to create mistakes, punish the double commit, don't overstay, and bump opponents to disrupt. Doc's keys to the game are brought to us by Drop In Gaming. Drop In Gaming is the premier online platform for gamers who seek competition. Play your favorite games to win cash and prizes through free and paid entry matches and tournaments. Whether you are new to the scene or a seasoned veteran, Drop In Gaming has the right games and competition for you. To begin your competitive gaming journey, sign up at dropingaming.com. And it looks like we're just going to immediately go into mm -hmm. the game. There is oh, yeah. no stalling to be had here, and we can hear everybody back hyped on the stage here tonight. And this is a team that is, that is going to be going to hear them uh, going off and already Cosmic right up there. We do have Dirt of Guild Instinct as our starting Ooh. line of four. It does look like Cosmic is trying to, it looks like Columbia College is trying to kind of like circle in like sharks around Boise State's goalpost right now. It looks like things are going to be sent over to the blue side of the field by Instinct, trying to get that in there, is unable to get the follow-up sensing over to Gil. It looks like Durtho's going to bump that right past Cryptic. Looks like Cam is going to get that save, and Instinct is going to go ahead and take that ball, pop it all the way up in the air. Cryptic is going to miss, and Durtho's going to score. Pretty good, Boise State scoring within the first 40 seconds. Columbia College down one. That's a great 50 coming out from Instinct right there. and just knows exactly where to put it for Dirt though. Just middle, super easy shot to hit and with some power on it too. Next 50-50, it looks like it will go the way of Columbia College. It looks like Instinct kind of has the ball kind of running around cryptic. Up on the side, Instinct as well. They're kind of contesting it. Instinct is going to move that ball. Cam's going to take it away. And then Instinct's just kind of going to wait for someone to try to take a shot and do it disrupting that can't. Gil and Instinct doing a wonder. Oh, just barely not going to be able to defend against Cosmic Flippy. We, we do have a, a technical here. I don't know if anyone, anyone else can see it, but the, the, some technical issues, which happens in video games. It's a sort of like an injury, so to speak. So it does look like 
There is a Boise State just kind of has somebody with a monitor off. It looks like that is the issue there. That is a one-to-one, -one and it looks like we are resetting. That does which is, look like. Which is fine. It, it was, it was it, to argue, they might not have scored because of the monitor. If the monitor hadn't blacked out, they had scored. But, you know, it's sort of, uh, it's something you can't, you know, you can't handle. You can't, you can't predict that type of thing, you know? Definitely. Boise State still trying to come out. Hopefully we mm. still get a goal within the next 40 seconds. And now we get back into a little bit of the stall that we weren't able to get in uh -huh. beforehand. Yep. Where do you, like, go? Week two, like, after playing the number one team? What does that mindset look like? Because there's... You can't fight a second number one. No, I, you know, my personal opinion, no matter what the outcome is, win or lose, uh, no matter how devastating or how much you ran by, uh, you just you, you keep it, you reset, right? Mm -hmm. That mental reset we talk about so much, especially me, uh, it's just sort of we know what we played. We played the best. Let's just keep moving forward here, right? We played the best, and you just you, – you, you, you go with your chest to hide, right? You know, you keep going from there. You just keep going with it, and mm -hmm. we uh, don't – we don't. We don't do trolling here. <laughs> Definitely no. not against the number one team in no. Rocket League here no. tonight. Are there any specific players you want to look out for? Um, Durtho, you know, Durtho has been pointed out so much throughout this entirety and ever since joining the program as well. Uh, so we can talk, you know, days and days and days about Durtho and how much of an impact he's made so far for the program. But I think also the biggest thing is just this team seems to be sort of the ideal dream team in my in my mind, right? You had you had Instinct and Gil who are very impressive players to go off of and then you had Durtho, but Art getting right back into it and we're gonna see what that dream team can do. All right, must be flip coming up the backboard. Dirt is gonna pass got in. Looks like one player is gonna miss. It's gonna be a shot. There it is! Instinct is gonna take it. Columbia College was unable to get in their goal in time. That's Boise State up one within the past 20 seconds. This I think this is a good omen. That's a very good moment. And and Cam missing that touch does throw his other defenders off, so I just think this thing is such a perfect open net, and they do not hesitate on it right at the kickoff. And seems they're going to win, Gil's going to take it, only one defender back, that means Cosmos going to get control. This means <gasps> Dirt, though! Oh my gosh! That is two to nothing in the first 20 seconds, four minutes and 41 seconds remaining. Columbia College down two. This is number one. Currently losing to Boise State. And Rocket League is one of those momentum-based games that, you know, from game to game, in my opinion, momentum carries so much, but you can never say one series is actually one side until you've played that team two or three times. So we won't know until the series ends and play again in that round of perspective. So as we see, Cosmic Flippy is kind of doing some tricky stuff. Going to pop that ball in the air. Cryptic is waiting for it to come down. Durko wants to not pan that right over. Doing some aerial play themselves. Going to pass it. Gil Gil gets the oh. bears touch there. Cam is going to save Instinct's shot on goal and Cosmic Flippy sends things back into the orange just for Durko to send it right back in the blue. Rip now to touch. Cosmic Mind tries to rotate it out. Does cut it though. Durko now drops it off the ceiling. It's going to be an excellent 50 heading it back out. Cam going to try for the rear back. Doesn't get a whole lot of power on it. Instinct now with the 50 back out. It's in the middle. Nobody quite up, but that means Cryptic does get the beat. It's going to drop in front of Blue Stick net. No! So just a little bit too fast there. Columbia College now up one. Still down to Boise State's two. Three minutes and 53 seconds remain. That's that great kind of touch coming out there from uh, Columbia College. And, you know, it, it, it's apt and overcome, right? You know, one, two, doesn't matter. You still have, to, you still have to leave here. And with about four minutes left, there's a lot of games to play. So you just rub that one off and you just keep going. Definitely. And with that demo, Instinct is going to be sent back. Cryptic is setting up for a goal. Gil is going to pop that back away. It looks like Cam is trying to come in. Going to get that touch on the Gil. Cosmic Flippy trying to set things up for Cryptic and Cam. Kind of, and then Instinct is just trying to stop and to punch with the game. <gasps> Yo, get a shot. Oh my gosh. gosh! Just straight down the middle. That was clean. I believe if I saw that correctly, Instinct got a big bump there. Not quite able to see this current camera angle. Does kind of get it. Enough to scare Cosmic Flippy and get that bump. Even my open net for Gil. And there it is. Just voice up 3 1 with about 3 minutes and 40 seconds left. This is going to be a high scoring game. Oh yeah, I'm it's gonna be a lot right of back. Now. It's gonna be a lot of back and forth. I feel if Boise State doesn't take this dominating momentum and pay it forward. Cam is going to get that touch, send it right back to Cryptic. Cryptic is going to make a little bit of a shot on goal, send it back, back forth. Ooh, Cam is going to perfectly 
set that up and score. Columbia College still down one, two to three. That's a great passing play, uh, being able to be there for your teammates passing as well. And that's going to be something that we're noticing for Boise State and Columbia College as well. They've had often, very often, very little times where they take a shot on net without having 80% insurance that Ooh. they're going to make it. It looks like Instinct has that ball over there. That was almost scary for Boise State as things head over into the blue. Durtho and Yale kind of passing it back and forth. It looks like it's over in that corner there. Cryptic is going to send it over into the orange straight. Oh, trying to get his cam, but Durtho is actually going to be the one that touches that. Great backboard clear. Now Cosmic now the backboard deals up. Gets a great first touch going on. Durtho trying to beat. It's going to get a 50. It's in a little bit of safe zone for Boise State. Instinct's going to miss the potential redirect there. However, the pinch with Gil just sends it off with two of Columbia's teammates over there. A little bit of a redirect there. We see lots of side wall playing right now as it goes straight and careening into the middle of the field on blue. Cam is going to bounce it back over into the orange. Gill is in goal and prepared to block. We see the bounce off of the back. Oh. Cryptic oh. is going to finally get that in. We see a lot of bouncing off of the backboard into a player from the side of Columbia. And that's, yeah, that's just sort of, that's such a tricky play to go for because you know, just from that perspective, it, what it looks like, Cryptic going for, or Cam going for this air dribble into the net, decides to opt out and send it to the back, to the sidewall, which becomes a really confusing play and leaves that net uh, pretty hard to defend before he's safe. So as we go in here, Instinct has it up in the air, seeing what we can do. Not gonna get, gets the first touch, not going to be able to get the second touch. That Durto, two touches in, not able to get the third or the shot on the goal. Instinct has been passed to in the middle of main field. We see Cosmic Lippy going against them. Columbia College with State tied three to three. That was almost a beautiful double touch coming out there from Gill. Not able to quite get it, but Cryptic getting a pretty powerful flick over Cosmic is going to get a touchdown. Leaving for Cam, it's left open. Only one defender for Columbia back. He's going to save it. Dirt is still on it though. This means Gill is going to get a free touch here. Cosmic is going to clear it out. Instinct now the ball, get a first touch. Dirt back to Instinct, sending it back to the fast game, taking it out. Dirt already up, free jumping. That means Cryptic is going to get a clear. Gill getting a first touch, right just back and forth so far here. Nobody quite getting a lot of possession. Cam is going to control it off the side. Once it's one touch, he's going to be cleared though by Gill. It looks like Dirt now has the ball. Cryptic is in the place to defend. We're going to see Instinct get a shot on goal. That shot will be saved. We see Cryptic getting a lot of boost, kind of going, trying to score against Gill as Durtho and Gill are passing it back and forth, trying to stop Columbia College from scoring. Mid remaining, we're tied. The great little pass that came up there mid. Cryptic now going to send it up. Instinct's going to get the first touch, try and stick with it, maybe go for a 50 here. Does get it. Gets a little touch directly off the ceiling. Doesn't quite get an amazing 50 there. But that doesn't mean Gilbert on the ball. Gilbert for the first touch. It's going to be intercepted. Instinct does have to control. Send it back. Good job. Cosmic Slippy now has to. No, he doesn't. Instinct is going to get that touch and send it over to Cryptic, which is not quite where Cosmic Slippy was looking for as the two of them pass back and forth. 30 seconds remaining. Each second that ticks down, TZ. Teams are getting more and more desperate not to go into overtime. Tensions are definitely rising. Dirt from not going to get the data right here, but this thing that does have a clear cam right back on it might have a second touch. Is going to be blocked by Dirt from getting the save credit yeah. for Sitting back up mid, instinct now the clear gun to follow them quickly. It's, it's off the net though. Gale with four seconds left. Oh, gets intercepted. But going to have to get a save. No! no! Cryptic is going to get that score. We see the back wall bounce right into Cryptic's hands and they get that shot and they get that goal. Oh, it's Cryptic barely able to get just that last tap. end of the car. Tap. tap is more than likely going to steal it for the first game though. With one second left, but never say never. The ball is up. This means they got to keep it up for the next yeah. game of the game. Does get one pop quickly. Now gets one touch. Oh. <laughs> They're going to come down from the ceiling. So, I mean, okay, round one goes the way of Columbia, but it does look like Boise State. Boise State's in this. Boise State is most definitely in it, and that was the thing of we even with this number one title, we knew Boise State was going to come in here. At least me here on desk sort of mm -hmm. had this. Um, this sort of, you know, intuition, right, where I knew Boise State was just going to take this out, right? There's no way that we do get clean swept here. And if anything, this game does show it's going to be close. It's going to be blow for blow here. And it's really just more about 
you know, that mental stage. Both these, all three, all six of these players on the pitch right now are more than capable mechanically and gameplay-wise to be leaders in the in the forefront of their teams. But more or less, who who's going to knock it out at the end? It looks like there was just barely Columbia College kind of like eking Boise State out, getting those higher percentages overall. 56% of all shots taken. That's not a huge difference, but it is that one goal that oh, is yeah. going to cost Boise State map one. But we still have many more to come. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, in a best of five series, it's going to be a lot. And it's going to be a long run. It is. Mm -hmm. These games are going to drag out. Just, just that one game was so close to being in overtime. They scored in the last second. Uh -huh. There was literally how one many, yeah. second remaining how many on times that, that Yeah, How many times is that going to happen for the remainder of this series? Probably not a lot. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bet that, you know, making some gameplay changes, getting some strategy rise, being adaptive, and Boise State takes a mental reset. Boise at it again. Not ready to go with the touch. I believe that was Durko right on the ball, and that could be their instinct. With the touchdown, and Durko might have off. That would have been an absolute insane angle to see. Now Gil, the last defender back, Cosmo is going to go off the wall, get the pass to Gil. Durto is there with the stock. Cam with the shot, doesn't quite get it on, gets this inside wall. Cam is going to get a demo on Gil, but two players are already up for the state to clear off the backboard for Clifton. Almost messed up Cam, Cam's on up with one touch. Durto committing, not going to quite get that. Get off to the side, Instinct's got to defend off the backboard. It gets a great read off the backboard, and one more touch, leaving the net open for Blue State. It looks like as we go in here, Cam is going to kind of subvert that, send it back over into orange territory. Instinct is there, though, but so's Coco. Oh. Like, oh, Durdo's going to come in and get that save. It's the last available second. Four minutes and eight seconds remaining as Gil's trying to take it over to the blue side of the field. Going to send it right over to Instinct, who's looking for a shot. Cosmo, Slippy, and Cam, oh. both defending goal. <gasps> hand it to Durdo. Durdo tries to hand it back to Gil. Gil has a shot here. Cryptic is going to end up blocking that shot. Instinct tries to come in. Oh. And we see. No, that's an open net. Woodsy State is going to go down one as Cam scores. First goal, small little pop is all it really takes with that time. And Cam is going to get that first goal for Columbia College. But that's just one goal. It's still 1 0 with 3 minutes and 48 seconds left. There's a lot of Rocky League left here to play. And going up to 50 50, it's going to determine who has the win for going forward. Looks like Turbo has the momentum going forward, just barely going to miss that shot on goal. Cryptic is going to. Ooh, Actually, down. Gil's going to get demoed by Cos. Or Gil is going to demo Cosmic Flippy. Excuse me, as Cam currently has possession of the ball. We're seeing oh. Oh, Cryptic go. Oh, okay. Instinct is going to take that down. And it looks like Cosmic Flippy kind of has it over on the side. He's trying to set up a shot. They are able to get that touch. It looks like Instinct is in that defending. So is Gil. And Durgo, all three That's members of Boise State, now heading over into blue. Not quite going to get it. Just barely to the left. That clear on Makata, but Instinct with the reader, right? Not quite able to get it. Cryptic now. Oh, no! With the perfect little fake. Just Someone needs to stop Cam. Playing it down. Cryptic just gets his first touch, and you expect to know that quickly sets coming, but Cam is just right underneath and sneaks it right through. Definitely a great little play coming out from Columbia College. So with three minutes and four seconds remaining, that is going to stay about one goal a minute if they want to win three to two. And it looks like as we go in here, Durso's going to keep it up in the air, kind of contending with Cosmic Flippy there. Gil's going, no, Gil's going to miss the touch. Leave it to Instinct, though. Cosmic Flippy has possession of the ball. Cam, it looks like Durso's going to send it right into Cam. Cam is going to miss the first. Oh, these shots are not good for my heart right now. That was what? Three Boise State fans right there? Yes, that was in the backboard. They come in clutch with Gil's shot. There it is, Gil! That is Boise State. One. Now only one behind Columbia College. Two minutes and 33 seconds remaining. Beautiful. Sends it right past Cryptic. Sends it right past Cosmic Flippy. Just an absolute boomer of a shot coming out from Gil. And that's the perfect type of momentum game that Boise State needed to kind of upset Columbia College and to show that they're staying to this game. With two minutes left, Instinct is going to take control, gets a 50 sending off to the corner. It's going to attempt to get one more, doesn't quite get it. Cryptic still on the ball, kicks it out mid, camps there, but is going to get a block by Dirt though. Cryptic now possesses the ball, is going to send it out. Going to be contested by Kiel here going for a 50, no, gets the demo. Dirt though now to flip, doesn't quite get it as, as Kent's going to get their first. Gill's up, misses. Is he going to get that? He's quite sure he wants to get the touch there. No, Cosmic Cook is barely going to get their first. Durtho is still in net there to defend. Kind of rotating back in a 
send it to Instinct. Instinct is going to set Cam up. Almost scores. We see that bounce back and forth on the crossbar there. This is close as Instinct takes it off the side. Uh -oh. This is a little less close. Sending it to Cosmo Flippy, who sends it to Gil, and right back to Cosmo Flippy, who sends it to Durso, and that is over into the blue side of the court. Could be shot. Oh, just a little bit off. It's going to try and fall off the wall here. Gets the flick, doesn't quite get it. This is cryptic up for this. It's going to set down for Timmy Cosmic. Not going to quite get it. Instinct off the side wall. Going to get a big clear here. Durso going to try and pick it up. Not before Cam gets a touch. Cosmic is there now. Doesn't get a shot on that though. This gives uh, Boy State some time to uh, breathe here. And it looks not like a whole lot. Not a whole lot as Instinct takes it and sends it right back into Cam Cosmic. Flippy almost in there. Durso's going to take it away. Try to head into the blue side of the court where Cam is defending. That pass is going to coming up with Gil's instinct was just barely off just by a hair. This means Gil's going to follow up. Now it's one free touch off the sidewall. It's going to get a pass now. coming right now. <gasps> so close. Another opportunity coming out. Nobody from Poison State is going to be able to uh, contend and get the shot on the net. Cryptic is going to get a good 50 from the higher. Gil's going to now just from the ball. going to fake it down. He doesn't get past Cosmic though. It looks like Instinct now has possession of the ball, fighting with Cam for it. Cryptic and Cosmic are both in goal. Jerko has possession of the ball, gonna pass it right back. Looks like Cosmic Flippy is trying to do some stuff as Crypt and Gil is going to take oh. us in there, maybe? No, Cosmic Flippy is going to save that. Send it, Jerko's gonna send it right back to Cam, and then Instinct's going to take it away just as fast. 15 seconds, we're going down. Boys State needs to get one goal to send us into overtime. 10 seconds. The pass potential is here, and Cam doesn't get all of this is. This is the pass point seats we're looking for. Hit the miss, instant the dribble. Playing no. slow in one second, Gil has a shot opportunity. Oh, no. doesn't quite get it. And that's going to be game two going to Columbia. So now, at this point, Wood State needs to take ne next map. We've yes. only been down one point each time, so it's mm. definitely doable, but Boise State is in this kind of do or die for week one. Oh, yeah. Like, wow, what high stakes for mm. week one. Oh, yeah, for week one, this is this is exactly the kind of energy that you want to go out with. Um, but, you know, it is it is week one. So, and being very close and kind of just getting a little bit of stats, so we do see that same level of total shot percentage that Columbia, that Columbia had. And that's just accounted towards, that's a little off. I did. I would say the pressure there was kind of equal, I feel like. There definitely were some times that Columbia had a lot of pressure. There definitely were some times Boise had a lot of pressure. So, you know, maybe it's a little off. I don't know, the computer might be better than me, might not be, but, <laughs> you know, who knows. But it's one goal every time. Boise is mm -hmm. in this. They are in this to win it. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's those minor seconds. That's all it's going to take. And I have a feeling that Boise's going to show up. So because of the difference in goal percentage, now it's wider. It's mm -hmm. more 63%. But because Boise State was only down a single goal, that tells us that overall Columbia is shooting more shots, but Boise State is doing so more accurately. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. The, you know, that sort of shot percentage attributes at this higher level, you know, honestly, I don't, I don't, re I don't really think that sort of high shot percentage really matters all that much. It's more or less on if you're able to finish shot. Right yep. going off, there was a shot on that. It's going to be saved by Cam. Now the possession. Then get the flick over Gill. Didn't get out. There's a nice fight, but Instinct with the save. Now you have to go quick. Ball's up in the air. Instinct going to play slow here. Keeping the touch onto the wall. Cosmic does have a second touch here. Mike gets shot. Saved by Gill. Wow. Looks like I have to go in there. Kirby's just going to pop that up into the air. That is Cam and Gill racing for the ball. Gill is going to get that touch. Durso's going to send it back to Gill. Oh, no. no. Cosmic Flippy is barely going to save that. And Gill knows that that saved him. So he's going to there. He's sending things over into the orange side of the court. Instinct is going to get that touch. Send it greening towards Columbia College's goal. Right now it's back to Boise State's goal. Gill is going to get that touch. Send things over right to Cosmic Flippy. He does get them. Cam now the air dribble does get cleared over one, but that is going to be now on the backboard is there. Keeping possession of the ball, going to get a bang over one of them to college. Durko now back on it again, going to get a touch out, might get a pass. Cam going to pinch you at the wall, and that means the college is going to be saved once again. And the clear going back out, right back to Boise side now, with Durko with possession. Looks like Durko's going to climb the wall like Spider-Man, looking for a shot on goal, unable to get it. Cam possession of the ball, sending it right back to Gale. That is oh. so they're unable to defend. That is cryptic getting the first goal. That's quite a good setup coming in. You know, Cam seems to have that aerial control that is necessary for that. Just once again, you know,
Just a perfect little floater right for College of Columbia, but that's only one goal. Looking a little similar to last time. They scored at three minutes and 30 seconds as well, but if there's anything you know, Boise State can definitely come back and make this again. It looks like Instinct currently has possession of the ball, and Gil is going to get that demo on the camp. Boise State has a massive demo monopoly right now. Looks like Dirtho unable to set themselves up with the shot, but Gil is there to get the save. Oh, yeah, Dirtho's able to do it again. Man, this is close. These these close saves are not good for my heart right now. Columbia College circling like some sharks on the goal as Gil is able to get that clear and send things away. Now it is Boise State circling like sharks. Ooh, a shark got them up. That's not good. Boise well, State, uh, quite a bit of damage coming out of here. They're going to get a 50. Boise State being a little low on boost here. Actually, both sides being pretty low on boost here. Cam's going to get the 50 set. Gets him a skill this week. Instinct's going to get the clear. And Dirtho's going to get the demo. Instinct is going to get quite the touch. Cosmic with over one before getting bumped. Gil does get the beat. This means Cam's going to defend her back. Instinct the shot. Dirtho with the redirect isn't going to be strong enough to get it. The speed on that was not quite there. But Dirtho is going to get the 50. Looks like as we go around here, Ripton currently in Boise State's goal. Instinct is going to send it over into the blue. Pass right to Dirtho off the backboard. No, Cam almost got set up there. Dirtho is able to subvert that after a bounce on the backboard. Now it's a clear shot on that goal. Just going to touch it to Instinct. Instinct is going to... Oh! 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 Yes! Oh, my The Instinct Dirtho duo tying it up one to one. Boise State cannot afford to lose this round. It was two minutes and 15 seconds remaining. Ooh, that was a stressful, that was a stressful score, but Boise State is in this, as we always knew they would be. That third touch coming up from Instinct was absolutely Ooh. insane. Set them up perfectly for that goal. Unfortunately, it's a little bit of uh, crossfire, but Dirtho does have one touch. Cam is going to center a little bit this week. Instinct has a shot. It's wow. barely off the crossbar. Cosmic's going to send it up, though. Gil's going to intercept it, gets bumped. Oh, dang. That is Columbia College now up two to Boise State's one in a minute. 59 seconds remaining. Boise State's got to get another amazing goal like they did before. What just an unfortunate 50 that comes out there. That's one of those things that's just, you know, at that level of speed, you just can't see that coming. They sure sent Gil into the skybox, though. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was sure out there. Gil with the pass, though. This could <gasps> tie it up. Almost. Not going to quite get it, though. Cryptic is going to get the shot. They're actually more like back to pass. Or side more pass, sorry. Gil's possession now ties it. It's going to 51 out to middle. Dirtho is going to potentially get the 50. Instant now to the side. Gets the first touch. Cam's going to fall up off the uh, ceiling. Gets the first touch. He's quite going to get it. Boise State's going to have to get a big clear here. And the big clear they do get. It looks like as we go in, Gil is the one that's going to kind of spearhead that clear. Cam's going to take it away and send it right back into the... Oh. No! Just barely gonna miss that. Sends it right into Dirtho. Cosmic Flippy looks like they're trying to get a good shot there, but they're gonna have to get through Dirtho and Gil. We see Cryptic bouncing the ball back and forth. Instinct is gonna smack that right over into Cosmic Flippy. Boy State is still defending multiple shots on their goal right now. Pass coming out for Cryptic. No. I get shot on net. That is a perfect level of training event for Columbia College here. Getting them up 3-1. That is not what you want to see if you're a Boise State fan. Which is a beautiful little floater pass, floater pass that Columbia College has done so well throughout this series. That's about one goal every 25 seconds if Boise State wants to send this into overtime. And we definitely do. This is map number three. This is kind of do or go down week number one here. We see Cam getting that save up. Cryptic first touch is going to be played down by Dirtho. Had second touch, gets it past the last defender. That means but Cam is going to be there. Instinct with the touch. It's quiet, going to get it. Gills played off the sidewall. Gets a good little pick to the sidewall. Still on it. Dirtho might have got a shot in the open net and gets it. There it is. That is that's one goal in 25 seconds. Now we need that one more in 34. We have a couple of seconds of extra padding there. This is Columbia College 3 to Boise State's 2. 34 seconds remaining. Boise State has got to be in these final 34 seconds. This is not copium. This is a legitimate chance that the Broncos have to tie this game up and continue the series. And that means Dirtho is going to have it on the sidewall. Not going to quite get it to that. Gil is going to be back up there. Back. Instinct now going to have to get a good save. Does get it. Still playing with the momentum there. Gets one touch. Doesn't quite get over the but though. Goes up in the 50. Cam does assist in getting it to their side, but Cryptic now has all the possession of the ball. Plays it down. Does going to get a pass from the defender. 
Gill now has 10 seconds to send it back to the other side. Cryptic's gonna get an amazing 50 for Columbia. Three seconds left for Race to stay alive here. Looks like Instinct's going to send that over to Gil. Jerzo's able to get that touch, send it straight into mid. Oh, Cryptic's no. gonna send it spiking down though, and that is Columbia as your winner. But, I mean, that 3-0 is very deceptive. Uh -huh. Because Boise State was within a couple of points mm. every single every time. time. Every time. In a best of seven series and in a best of different way that, you know, that might play out differently. And, you know, we kind of go back to the beginning conversation of it. Uh, you know, it, it plays series by series. You know, one series can be very uh, determined by momentum, but I guarantee you Boise State resets here and they go back to the qualifiers and they play this team again. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to be a different story no matter what. So mm -hmm. I think I think going series by series, and you know, like you said, if you look at this 3-0 just as a 3-0, you're gonna go, wow, that was you know that was a little bit of a blowout, but it really wasn't. They were there yep. on Columbia State all the, the time, time, the whole time. That was a close, exciting match the entire way. So, what final takeaways do you have as we prepare for player in top five? Um, I think those. I think they. I think they played amazing. I think you know, a couple little seconds, unfortunate 50-50s, but. Boise State was there. You know, these players know exactly what they're doing. They're at the highest rank they could possibly be at and some of the top players. So, player of the game could go to anybody and, you know, they just go back at it again. You want to nominate somebody from Boise State here? It looks like we're kind of trying to decide. Durtho, of course, going to come out first with that highlight reel. I'm going to nominate Durtho. What about you? Um, where do I think it's going to be Gil? I think I think Gil had a, had a, had a lot of little power is. shots that came out here. That were very like this one right here was just so important for Boise State <laughs> to get them right back in it, and you know Gil has always that it always been that standout teammate that we've had on uh, Boise State. Sends it straight from midfield, which is always what we'd love to see there. Look at that beautiful, fantastic. Love the follow through there, and then Instinct. We can't sleep on our boy Instinct. This is the Instinct highlight reel here. We see their goal just immediately passed through. There was no one in the net, no one to contest. Instinct sends it in straight and clean. Uh, yeah, it could go. Either. It could, could. You know, it's a three-way here. Honestly, in my opinion, I think every player had their own little moments. So you know, Instinct does get it, but so. Is that, is that our player of the game? Is I, Instinct I, our player of the game? Is that who you're going to go with? Yeah, I'm, I'm a, you know, yeah. I think, once again, same thing of it's a three-way tie in my head, but if I had to choose yeah. one, I think I would say Instinct. If you had to, like, break the three-way tie. So yeah. now we're going to go in and see, I mean, who the real player of the game is. Durtho. Uh, yeah. I mean, here we are starting things out strong in week one. Durtho doing a fantastic job. It just... Lots of people on Boise State showed up and did a fantastic job, but I really right. felt like Durtho stood apart. And the ICCU Player of the Game is brought to you by Idaho Central Credit Union, who believes a great player makes a team more successful, just like Idaho Central's helping members achieve financial success. Durtho is the Idaho Central Credit Union Player of the Game. And one of our newer members, like he showed up at the beginning of the semester and has been playing all the way through and gotten some of the most impressive goals in this match against Columbia. Oh yeah, no, it's 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 been impressive all the entire way around. Watching Durtho play on the pitch is always going to be an amazing and a fun thing to watch. It's never not going to be so, and an absolute weapon that deserves to be uh, that <laughs> that deserves the player of the game as well. Oh, that was beautiful, by the way. Instinct yeah. like set that up, and we didn't know if he was going to get it, and then Durtho comes in with that just little dink. But we do have to say Instinct was the one that kind of yeah, like got that set up, got that in there, definitely. The crossbar is one meter taller there, you know, doesn't hit it, and that goes straight in for him. But, you know. Oh, yeah. It, it goes either way. It goes either way. You know, teammate makes the dream work. Teamwork makes the dream work, and everybody from Boise State really showed up to play today. And I don't think there's anything that they should be necessarily unhappy with themselves no, no, for. I think, because yeah. This is the number one team, and y'all genuinely played fantastic, and oh, we're yeah. matching them blow for blow the whole time. They sc they run map one off of a single second. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. just a little bit, just a couple little cleanups there. Do you have anything that stuck out to you that maybe Boise State needs a little bit of polish before we face Columbia again? Um, you know, a little bit of polish. Uh I think th I think these players know exactly what they need to polish up. Uh, you know, I think Definitely. Columbia College, 
they had there were like two goals in the top of my head that Columbia College got that were just these like little fakes they had that uh-huh. Cam was right there able to clean up and it's like you know those are that's a difficult one to to really defend there so I, I think you know they go at it again and they're playing they're playing that second and third man a lot more definitely and they're on it they're in the series again. And, you know, Columbia's mind games aren't going to work yeah. twice yeah, on no. Boise State. Nope. So with that, we do have our top five plays of the game, which are presented by the Idaho Army National Guard, who invites you to take your impressive critical thinking skills into real time. With more than 10 jobs offering a $20,000 bonus and your degree of choice paid for, the Idaho Army National Guard is the best team out there. From all of us here at Boise State Esports, thank you for joining us here tonight.